file name selector. How does the file name selector operate? So the file name selector is much like the scale list. There's a selection here on the left and it contains these settings. Now, an important part to note is that it contains a prototype file, a file naming convention, and how this file name selector should work. So should it create a new drawing for every object? Should it create a new drawing for every assembly? Or should it keep trying to fit the next object or the current object that's been passed onto the current sheet and only once it's full does it go and create a new drawing? So that means the green frame that it creates with the different scale, with the drawing style found in the detail style map, it will try and place as many parts or assemblies or cameras on the one drawing until the drawing is full. Typically, on next object or on next main part is pretty much the accepted standard. The prototype is coming from the uh, installation folder. So if I come into here and we go into shared support prototypes, you can see here is all my prototypes. Now the file that you specify here must be in that folder. Okay. The other thing that you can do here is you can incorporate just text and tokens to make up the file name. Okay, so in this case, a flat number is the sequential drawing number, and the 04 indicates that I'm going to have four numbers in the file naming. So it'll be like S 0016, or S 0100, or S 1000. They are all four digit numbers. You can include up to five or six different tokens in the um, file name. Um, common ones that are used are the lot and phase out of each part. And you can also put in here a folder name. So for example, if I put in folder backslash, it will, instead of creating the drawing directly inside the details folder, it will create it in a new folder called folder. So let's say this is, for example, a single part drawing. So maybe I'll make this um, plate drawings. So it'll create a folder called plate drawings. Then it'll use a backslash and it'll create the file in there. So in your details folder, inside your model folder, this is how it will create the file. And this is what's used as part of your step to generate the file name when producing the drawings.